We have some naughty bunny rabbits. Oh wait, I was told I'm supposed to shoot it that this way. So it's full screen. My bad. We have some naughty bunny rabbits. In frame right now you see Goldie Hawn and Brownie. And look at Whitefoot. I don't know if you can see her over there. She's laying over there in, in the shade. My naughty bunny rabbits have been digging holes. Which, you know, I was like, okay, you can dig some holes. Because most of them didn't go very deep. Well, last year they dug this hole. This is a downside of having a bunny rabbit pen that doesn't have like a bottom, like a hard bottom floor, like a cement or something because this area was originally all grass and we put them in here so they could eat the grass and then they ate all the grass, obviously. And they started digging to get out and eat the fresh grass, you know, so they dug a hole there, escaped there last summer and we filled that hole in with logs and stuff so they can't get in there again. Well, it doesn't really matter because they just picked somewhere else to dig. Whitefoot, Whitefoot, I know it was you. I know you. it was you. You're the naughty culprit, aren't you? You're naughty. It was your idea, wasn't it? You were the one digging the hole. I saw you digging the hole a lot. I caught you and I I just let you dig, I guess. I don't know. See, look, she's digging another one right there. White foot. You just want to be able to get out and run around the yard when you want? Girl, I promise you, I'm going to have a wooden fence put up next year. With my tax refund. Okay. Here's another hole where they started digging out, but we caught them and covered it. But this is where they escaped this time. Let me... If I can get my phone in here between the fencing so you can see better. Look how big that hole is, y'all. And they... It's... I mean... I didn't fill the hole in because if I did, they'd just turn around and dig it again. Number one. And it does actually, Whitefoot did, did dig a big tunnel because from the outside we have this board and another board and a big log on there. But before we did that, I mean, because the hole comes out on this side so they can literally go hop and then hop and hop right out. Um, before I put that stuff on there, I thought maybe Whitefoot was down in the hole. You know, just chilling in the dirt, in the shade, hanging out, because it's cooler down there in the dirt. So I stuck my arm in there. I'm not lying, guys. I stuck my whole arm in there like this, feeling to see if I could feel her in there. And I couldn't feel the end of the tunnel, so... Being my luck, it probably runs over here somewhere. And the silly things here, they got out and they had all this fresh lettuce to eat and they didn't even come eat it. And, let's see, where was Whitefoot? There's Whitefoot right there. Found Whitefoot. She was li she was literally right there under my neighbor's steps on her porch that goes up over there. Goldie Hawn. I came home in time to see Goldie Hawn hopping across the backyard. Like boop, boop, boop. And so I ran her back over here and she hopped. Sorry. She was hopping across the backyard there. So I got her and ran her back this way. I'm not trying to be real fast. And she hopped down in the hole from the side and back in her pen and sat in there, you know. So I could just cover the hole and at least I had her in here. Then I couldn't find Brownie. And my mom, oh, Jolene ran away in the meantime and I had to call my mom to help me. And my mom was walking through the block and thought she saw Brownie. Sure enough, that little stinker. Here, hold on. Let me pause my video. So my mom helped me, and we come over here, and we saw Brownie. I was like, where is she? You know, and I'm out here shaking the food bowl, yelling her name, Brownie, Brownie. But they're like, heck no, we're free. We ain't coming back to you. She was sitting right here in front of my neighbor's shed, and we ran her back to my yard, and she missed the fence, and then she came back this way, and I couldn't find her. Well, guess what? Little sneaky thing. That little sneak, she hopped right in that hole. And she was sitting in that barn, and she sat in that barn, and every time we leave, and I'd go inside, because they'd give up looking for her, she'd come out here and eat her fresh grass and do what she wanted, and then she'd hop right back in there. 
and brownie i mean you can see brownie and them they're pretty big brownie's really long so she's pretty big but she fit in there she squeezed her butt through there no we're not opening the door come on all right jolene tell them to give us a thumbs up we just thought we should share our video experience our rabbit experience on video today after we had to chase three bunny rabbits thank goodness joseph came home in time to help me catch whitefoot because whitefoot actually decided to come out from underneath the porch and she was laying on the outside of the fence with gold like alongside goldie like just chilling like oh I'm tired. I got to eat everything I want. Now I'm going to come sit by you in the shade because it's hot under that, you know, hot under that porch there. And it was hot and with the sun coming down. You bunny rabbits are naughty bunny rabbits. You too, Goldie, but I caught you pretty quick. You naughty thing, you. Oh, well, at least you got your food in there. See, Brownie? Brownie was the naughty one. There's Brownie. You can kind of, I mean, I hope you can tell how big she is. Because I'm not zoomed in or anything. I'm like, there's the fence post right there. Brownie, you are naughty. At least you didn't bite mommy when I caught you. You scratched me a little bit, but you didn't bite me. All right. I hope you guys are having a good day out there in YouTube world. And just another fun bunny rabbit facts video. But sometimes, if you have a pin... A DIY pin like that we do here, you have to chase bunny rabbits. But at least they're smart enough that they stay close to our yard area. I mean, I was afraid Brownie had, like, took off and went over past Paul's house and, like, past my mom and dad's house and, you know. So, luckily they just kind of hang out here in the vicinity. I think they know. They're smart. They know there's dogs and stuff that'll get them. But, again, I hope you guys have a good day. Here's a one little shot of our homemade, like, we're trying to make a pool fence for our little easy set pool. It's ridiculous. We have to have a fence for it, but we're making our cattle panels. Like, we do everything else. Why not, guys? So, I'll do a different video on that when my husband's out here to talk about it. So, thanks. Give us a thumbs up. Have a good day. Bye.